So why are we all dressed up and ready to celebrate? We are celebrating because, let's go, let's do this. Happy one year anniversary from me to you. Thank you so much for all your support on this channel. I am so excited to celebrate this with you. I can't believe it. We've made it for one year. Um, that's why we're all dressed up right now. We're going to have a delicious dinner, um, sushi dinner today. So yeah, I'm so excited. I, it still blows my mind that it's been one year that I've done this. And I mean, what better way to celebrate that than with some Prosecco, right? Let's make sure I pour that. See, it's a trick actually to pour it and not have to deal with all those bubbles. But it's not like beer. It actually goes away pretty quick. Beautiful. Some sparkly wine. Mmm. Prosecco is like, it, it's pretty much the Italian version of champagne. Champagne's French. I think Prosecco is actually sweeter than champagne and less dry. Personally, I like Prosecco, but everyone's different. It doesn't really matter. But what matters today is celebrating that one year anniversary with sushi. I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat. Um, I actually want to dig into this real quick. We've got some miso soup here. Let's take a sip of that. Mm. That's really good. Got soy sauce right there. Isn't that a nice little container? I went all out. You gotta put some of that wasabi in there. I could do a little more. Actually, I could actually do the whole thing. I'm ready to eat. I'm so hungry. Got my first roll here. This is eel on top. Brown rice California roll, one of my favorites. Mm. I've been craving this for so long. Let's see here. I actually want to try this. I love this. This is, um, I believe it's called Tamago. Tamago. Mmm. It's kind of like a sweet omelet. It is a sweet omelet. I have it in a, a roll too. Let's try it that way. 
Mm. Oh, wow. It's, this is like the perfect way to celebrate our one year anniversary together. Hmm. These are for all, for all my uh, vegan and vegetarian friends. Well, actually, besides the omelet, but I got the cucumber. I've got, I think it's, uh, what is it? Plum, pickled plum. It's amazing. Ooh, I've got some octopus here. Looks incredible. Mmm. The octopus is so chewy. But I think that's what I really, really love about it. I love foods that require a lot of chewing. I'm all about that texture. Mmm. Mmm. This is a magnificent. <clears throat> what should I do first? I should do the, this is the mackerel. A little bit of that, soy sauce. That is bomb. So perfect. Hmm. Some of that raw salmon. I stinking love raw salmon. There's nothing like it. I don't think there's anything like it. You can't compare it to anything. I mean, the best way is saying that it tastes like butter, but I've already said that a thousand times. There is nothing like it. Mmm. So why are we really here? Why are we celebrating with some Prosecco and, and sushi? Like I said, it's because it is my one year anniversary and I can't, I can think of a better way to, to take you out and really celebrate with me. I can't believe it. I can't believe that it's been one year since I filmed that Pizza Hut video, the very first, first mukbang I did. and. I mean, it's, it seems like it was yesterday that I shot that. And I remember feeling so nervous about it. And I've already described my experience with filming. 
in my room by myself. I'm trying to carry a conversation. It's terribly hard. It's very hard, but I've obviously managed. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm absolutely surprised at where this channel is at today with, you know, almost what, 33,000, 34,000 subscribers. And um, you would think that something like this would never be able to succeed. I mean, it's kind of, at the end of the day, I still get people who are still wondering what I'm doing and why I'm doing it on YouTube. So they're still scratching their heads, you guys. It's still not, it's still not as popular as it should be and as it probably will be. Um, I, I still feel like I'm convincing people today about how great it is, you know, to experience food and relationships over the internet. You know, we live most of our lives depending on the internet life, on virtual uh, reality in a way. Um, and I think this is just another, another kind of component to that, right? And some of us have already discovered it and some of us have yet to discover it. I'm excited about that. I really think, I really think Mukbang is gonna blow up. Even more so than it is now. Mm. Mm. I mean, truly, without you guys, there would be, there would be no me. I know that sounds absolutely cheesy, but listen, like, I need your support. I need all of that to make this happen. It took both of us, you know? It wasn't just me. I mean, sure, I created the content, but without the subscriptions, the views, or whatever the case, or even the comments, my favorite part of YouTube, by the way, even the comments, I mean, without the interaction, none of this would exist. It truly wouldn't. It would just kind of get lost in the black hole of YouTube somewhere. But it hasn't. And that's why it's so magical, you know? I still can't wrap my head around it still today, honestly. Everyone watches Mukbang for a different reason, you know? I think as humans, we, you know, <clears throat> we always want to be touched somehow, emotionally, you know, physically, we need, we need that type of um, connection with humans, right? And some of us are, I don't know, I wouldn't say lonely, but I, I, would, I would say that everyone needs a little bit of company. And I really think that mukbang kind of embraces that. It helps provide that company to those that don't necessarily have it all the time, you know? And I'm so happy to give that to you. I'm so glad to be able to touch you in those ways. And you guys... You guys touch me too. You guys really, truly teach me things every single time. Every comment you leave, I learn something new. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't even believe it. But you touch me too, you know? And...
You can even touch me down there, but only if I let you. 75% of the time I would, but I will let you. <laughs> Maybe 25% of the time it's because I'm moody. But I never, I would never deny anyone to touch me where I like it the most. Nasty. Mmm. So good, guys. This is squid. Sometimes they put too much rice. Kind of bothers me. Mm. I'm mean, never. And I actually, want to tell you why I watch mukbang. Mukbangs are. I mean, I started one because I watched them, you know, and I had my own reasons as to why I watched them. There are many reasons why you guys are watching me. It's because, you know, perhaps you're, you know, on a diet or something and you need to watch someone else kind of eat the foods that you really want to eat or that you want to live vicariously through which is great. I think that's a wonderful reason if it helps you in the long run. Some people have eating disorders, you know, and it really, for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, it gets them to eat, you know? Um, so if you're watching this right now and you're struggling with things like that and you're, you're having a meal with me, that's fantastic. I mean, if that is driving you to do that, I say thumbs up. Some of us are lonely, you know? Um, some of, of us like the company, for me personally, I watch mukbangs because they really, for some bizarre reason, put me in one of the most zen states. They just, they just help me wind down after a long day. I mean, there's nothing I want to watch more than a mukbang after I come home from work. There's something about, I don't know, listening to the cooking or listening to the eating. I don't know, it relaxes me. I know obviously that caters to ASMR, right? Just, that's a huge thing. But even then, even then, I know that there are strictly no talking ASMR, kind of chewing noises type videos, but I personally like the talking. I need someone to talk. Now, I think what I like most about that is Maybe, you know, sometimes talking for me is exhausting, right, throughout the whole day. So I think maybe what it is is that I kind of want to just sit back and listen to someone else talk and listen to someone else eat. Kind of like, I just want to, I just want to stare. I don't want to be involved almost. But it really, really helps me relax. I mean, it helps me go to sleep too. It, I honestly put on mukbangs every single night. I just let it play right next to me. And voila. I fall asleep because there's just something so soothing about it. Not because the mukbanger is boring. Um, it's just, there's a nice little effect to it, you know? Cheers to mukbang. What a beautiful discovery. And this is not original. This is something that someone's already done before, but 
let's relish in that. Let's. I must can't thank them enough, you know? I love it. I love that egg. You do not know how delicious that is. Mm. Now, I don't know what video, tell me, what is the first video you actually saw of me? I know there are a bunch of people who watch that don't subscribe. Don't worry, because I used to be that person too, or I am probably still that person. I don't necessarily the sub sub subscribe to, sub 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 sub, I'm repeating myself like a crazy person. I don't necessarily subscribe to every channel I watch, um, but there are a lot. I, I do subscribe a lot more now compared to a, lot, uh, a long time ago. I would just kind of search up people if I wanted to watch them, but I never really actually subscribed to them. But I would like to know, I mean, what the first video was that you've watched. Uh, you watched of mine, and yeah, it's kind of interesting to know. I, I would have to say, though, and maybe this is kind of fun for you to know, but I guess my favorite video... Oh, man, that's hard. Actually, let me think about this. My favorite video that I've shot, that's what I'm trying to think about, or come up with at least. Hmm. Hmm. I guess as far, I wouldn't say it's my favorite but I think it's the most important video I have in my channel and it's the Panda Express video. I there's something about that video that I when I shot it I really didn't even it's almost as if I didn't even realize what I was saying when I was well I was kind of drunk too but that's a whole different story I'm always drunk. Um, no, I just felt like when I rewatched that, I didn't realize what effect that would, um, what type of impact that would make on you guys. And I think that is one of the most important videos I have. I, I rarely even ate. I barely even ate, I mean, in that video. So, I mean, that's why it's called Talk Bomb. But, yeah, I think that's the most important video I have. Now, for mukbangs, my favorite video, I would say the Boiling Crab video. That one really, really encompasses what I want to show you as far as food eating, as far as, you know, eating sounds and conversation. Everyone's different. I think everyone likes another thing, but I think that one really, it just is my favorite. Maybe it was the intense eating. I wasn't sure what it was, but I liked it. I don't know. I can't, I can't, it's hard because I can't watch my videos unless I have to, I mean, there has to be a reason why I have to go back to them, but I, I really try not to go back to them just because, I don't know. It's still kind of cringeworthy sometimes. I mean, there are a lot of things I say in these videos that I go. Good luck to you if you want to find a job in the future. <laughs> and if they find out your ass has a YouTube video, you better watch out.
listen, if they're gonna fire me or they're not gonna hire me or whatever, for whatever reason because of my videos, then I guess that's a good thing because that's it's not what I wanna do then. That's not the job I wanna be part of if you can't if you can't take me for for what I represent and who I am as a person. I wouldn't be happy, right? Hmm. Cheers to you, baby. We made it. A year. Wow, I, I still... It still freaking shocks me. That's why I can't stop talking about it. And you guys probably don't think I'm maybe not capable of remembering every single person that comments, but I remember, trust me, I remember Ask anyone, ask anyone on this comment feed. I will remember what you said in another video. I just, I'm able to retain shit like that. I don't know, I, guess, I just guess that, you know, like I said, the comment section is really important to me. And I really take in what everyone says. If I cannot respond to every single one of them, I still read them, you know? But I, I do remember them because, I mean, listen, they make me feel good. I mean, I... What else can I say? You know, I like them. I like those compliments. I like those, the feedback. I like all of that. I want it all, obviously. I, I think you would feel the same way too. And it really helps motivate me. You know, it really helps to push me to be the best that I can be. I know that I don't post a lot, right? I don't post a lot of videos, but to me personally, I, I, I find that quality is really more important than quantity, right? The amount of videos I post. I'm only at 30 something, or I don't know, maybe this is the 40th one, I forget. But I'm at 33, what, subscribers for just having so little videos? I think that's pretty cool. I, I, I think that shows that you guys are more into that quality video, and I'll give you that. I don't wanna just shell out videos every single Monday. You know, it, it's gonna start feeling like a job. And this is not a job to me, this is a hobby. This is an escape. This is for me to really have fun. And the last thing I wanna do is to do this on a, you know, on a set schedule. I cannot do that and I will not do that. Ever. I know that people think that, oh my gosh, you should just post more, you know, you're going to get more viewers and more subscribers. Cool. But it just takes away from me and I want to be the best that I can be. I want to give you all of me, but I, I cannot give you 75% because if I post every single Monday, every or whatever, two times a week, it starts to get really repetitive. I'm not gonna do that, and I don't think I will. I'm not gonna change that for even this year. I might even post every three weeks, it doesn't matter. But I think it builds excitement for you guys and for me too. As much as you guys are waiting for my videos, I'm just as excited to post them because it's almost as if I haven't seen you for so fucking long, you know? And I'm just so excited to hear from you, your comments, everything. I feel the same way. Trust me. And I want to keep that excitement going. You know, I can't, I can't kill it for myself. I like doing this and I don't want to not like it. That's when it gets, that's when it gets bad. I never want to come to you and say, this is, um, this is terrible. I'm over it. You know, and I don't want to do it anymore. That's the last thing you need to hear from me. I, I really, I can't have that. Okay. Anyways, I'm a little buzzed. That's why I kind of went on a little tangent there, but you know how I am. You've been here with me. You know exactly the way I behave when I'm drinking. Um, let's see. Mm, 
Sitting down makes my legs hurt. <laughs> I think they're asleep. Anyway, let's finish this guy off. No, actually. These are fish eggs here. Mmm. Mmm. All right, hold on, let me get comfortable. This is a mess. Ugh! But I, I did intend on talking about one thing and one thing specifically today, and it's the big, the big, big, big elephant in the room. I would say the biggest question I've received in pretty much my whole entire mukbang experience here on this channel is, the question is, how do you maintain your weight or how do you stay so fit while eating all this food? Firstly, I want to say I don't eat like this all the time. You know, I don't eat like this every day. You would have to be absolutely out of your damn mind to think that I eat like that every day because I do not. And if I did eat like that, every day. Trust me, as much as I work out, which is four times a week, one hour each, and I do cardio on top of that three times a week, even if I did eat like this every day, I would definitely gain weight. It would be very hard to keep off, you know, the pounds, the extra pounds that I'm getting from all the food that I'm eating. But what you don't know is that I eat very healthy, absolutely healthy. Like, I practically eat the same meal every single day. I'll tell you that right now. And they're all Costco, Costco items that I purchase and they're all pre-made items. It's nothing that I've cooked. I'll be very honest with you. I don't eat anything that I cook. I found that it's, it was harder for me to lose weight when I ate my own food. Sounds crazy, I know, but it's true. I want to tell you too, the first video that I did shoot, um, the Pizza Hut video, right? My very, very first video, I weighed in at 154 pounds, I remember. 154. Guess how much I weigh today? Drum roll. I weigh 142, 142. So I lost a little bit more than 10 pounds, just a little bit more. How, how is that possible if I have an eating channel and if I'm constantly shoving fried chicken down my throat? That's because, so simple, I work out. I don't, I work out and I eat healthy because I, be I believe and it's been, it's been true for most people that eating healthy is pretty much 80%, I don't, that's a random number, but it's pretty high, is the reason why you would lose weight, right? It's, it's about convincing your body to, to eat a specific amount of calories as well. With that said, if you do that every single day, like the way I do, almost, I would say five, six days, a week. Maybe that one day I'll eat something messy, but that's either because I'm filming or it's because of something else. But truly though, truly if you, it, I just found that when I started eating really healthy, 
my body somehow managed to adapt to that, right? So it got to the point where when I did eat something bad, like hot Cheetos, hot che I always talk about hot Cheetos if you haven't noticed, anything terrible for you, right? I would have to, I don't know, go to the restroom right away. Would, my stomach would be upset, right? So I started to realize that my body just didn't want those things anymore. And I thought that was amazing. It kind of stopped me from eating them because I didn't want to have a stomach ache. I didn't want to feel that way. Um, but it, it, is, it is about that, right? Eating right, eating the, the amount of calories um, based on your current weight, etc., etc., And exercising regularly. It's not that hard. It, it's not, it, there's no secret to it. There's no secret. I wish there was. I wish I could shock you with something. But you and I know that all it is, is exercise and healthy eating. Sounds so boring, but listen, if you want to feel the best that you that you possibly can be physically, I, I can't recommend it enough. Trust me, be the best that you can with your body. Just work out. It's hard, I know. I'm not saying this is easy. You're acting like this is easy, but it's not easy. There's no secret, I'm not kidding. Sorry to bore you, but there is no secret. Now, maybe later in the future, I'll tell you exactly what I eat. But I eat a specific amount of calories. Low fats. Low sugars. As long as I eat the necessary amount of protein and carbs that I need. I'm good. Love the octopus. God, I hate how much rice they put in there. It drives me insane. Screw the rice. I just really, I should just always get sashimi. It's called sashimi if it's just the fish. Ah, come on now, slippery slope. I love tuna.
Oh, and to continue with the the whole eating thing, the whole um, I don't know, eating healthy. I found that prepping food was nearly. I don't know. It drove me insane. I still prep food today, but I don't prep it in a way that you would think. Well, I do make the food. Okay, I make like maybe a bunch of steamed broccoli, some cabbage, some chicken breast. What else do I eat? I have quinoa. I have brown rice, edamame, all those things. All those like really clean, delicious. I don't know about delicious, but clean, healthy foods and. Basically, what I do is I know that people always prep them by kind of I don't know taking out all the containers and putting all the all the ingredients together, right? So a portion of chicken, a portion of cabbage, a portion of broccoli, a portion of brown rice, whatever. I found that that doesn't work for me. What I do now is that sure I do prep all those things, I do cook those things ahead of time, but I don't put assemble them. Immediately, do you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't put them together. I just kind of leave them in their separate containers. So what happens is that in the morning when I make the food, I kind of pick and choose what I want. The reason why that's helpful is because I'm almost trying to make myself think that this meal is different every single day. Like it's it's got different things in it. You know, it doesn't have the same uh, same items. Um, like it doesn't have everything that I've cooked. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know how when you prep food and you have all those containers sitting in there, but every single one of them is the same and it's got the same items in there. That's why we tend to stop eating our prep foods. You know when you're at lunch and you just go, "Dang, this is the third day I've had this meal. I cannot do it anymore." And that's why we stop eating it, and that's why we're like, "Let's go have lunch," you know, happy hour somewhere. And that's the problem. You know, we are not consistent. But I find that the reason why that happens is because we're forcing ourselves to eat that same damn meal every day. I can only imagine. I mean, I know how, what that's like. A lot of us. I mean, I w I would like to think, but we don't have a lot of discipline. We don't. Not even myself, someone who is really you know adamant about you know dieting and all that good stuff. But I just don't. I don't. I don't find it very easy. To eat the same food five days a week, so I just kind of, for some reason, it helps. I just kind of every every morning I just assemble it with different things here and there. Maybe I won't include the edamame, and maybe I'll do the cabbage and some other protein instead that I've prepared. You know, just to kind of, kind of make it like it's chipotle or whatever chipotle at home. You're just assembling things together, so it seems a little different, right? It makes it easier for you to enjoy because you're kind of psychologically. Manipulating yourself. I don't know. You're manipulating yourself. Is that, is that what it is? Kind of making yourself think that it's a, a fresh meal when really it's just all the food that you've prepped. But it kind of helps. It really does. I find that helpful. So that's some advice I can give for you if you're starting to get bored of your prepped meals. Your five. I don't know. In the fifth day, the food kind of tastes funky, right? Am, am I crazy? I mean, it's been sitting in the fridge for five effing days. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some bacterial growth or whatever. But yeah, that's some advice I wanted to give you before I left. But man, one year. I can't wait to hang out with you for another year, unless I die. But if I died, you just remember that I am、uh, obsessed with you. Okay? Just tell everyone that I was a hood rat. I'm a little sloppy, sloppy, messy, loudmouth Asian hood rat. Okay. I love you so much, and thank you for,、uh, you know, being with me on this journey. And those for those of you who subscribed to me before 1,000 subscribers, damn, you have been here for a long ass time. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's been long, but、um, hey, look, you're spending 40 minutes of your life watching me on on average, actually.、Um, I'm gonna want you to have a takeaway, right? I I I I never want to post a video where you can't bring something home with you. You know, you can't take something away. Perhaps it won't change your life, but it'll make you think about something. And I need you to do that. You're spending too much time watching some random guy on YouTube eating and talk about、um, and talking about random shit. If I don't give you a takeaway, then I am wasting my time. 
How boring. Don't just watch me. Just to watch me, I want you to learn something. I want you to share your experiences with me too. Takes two to tango. <sighs> Let me down this. You get one burp from me. That's it. Never again. Okay. I love you guys. I will see you later. Bye.